You're not paying attention to your passions. You're not paying attention to your creativity. You are truly limiting yourself when you're not tapping into your room space. The room space is truly a space of unlimited space of creativity, just a whole space of just transformation. And why would you want to limit yourself from not transforming? to my channel welcome back and if you're new to the channel i'm nelly love your favorite womb coach and today we're going to be talking about the mindset you need to have when you're starting your womb love journey so let's just start here womb love is self-love okay so let's just talk about the basic self-love. You know how you go get your hair done, how you go get your nails done. You make sure you look well put together. You know, you go to the gym, you make sure you eat right. That's part of self-love. And that self-love journey is something, is, is also a practice that we put in place to make sure that we stay looking good all the time. So now when we transition to the womb love, that is the same thing that we need to do with our womb space. So the womb space is a space of love, the space of creativity, the space of passion. And now when we don't tap into that space, that's when we lose touch with ourselves. Okay, the womb space is a space where life is, is the first place where life is born. That's what we all have in common. Okay, we all came from the womb space. All right, so in this day and age, we have not been taught on how to really take time to really set into our womb space. You know, even you see the way how we're not even taught to embrace our periods, okay? A womb love journey is just basically like a self-care journey, a self-love journey of a beautiful, consistent practice of tapping into your space of love, your space of creativity, your space of sensuality. And when you tap into the space, oh my gosh, it is just so beautiful, goddess. You would just start to see like everything starts to just flourish in your life. It's just, it's truly beautiful and it's truly amazing. So we're going to talk about a few steps that you can take to start your self-love, your womb love journey. Because remember, womb love is self-love. All right. It has to be in every woman's practice, a beautiful womb love journey. Because as you know, the womb, which is such a beautiful space of love, creativity, passion, sensuality, sexuality. The womb is the space of I feel, okay? You gotta resonate with that. Resonate with that right now. Like it's the space of I feel. It's your second chakra, the sacral chakra. So with this being the space of I feel, and with the space being so receptive, we take on a lot of other people's energies, okay? And if we don't take the time out to sit down with our womb space and to clear out what doesn't serve us, we begin to hold on to traumas, other people, emotions that's not even serving us on our everyday life. Walking around with anxiety, having issues in um, your relationship, because you're having an issue with yourself, you're not releasing what doesn't serve you, releasing those traumas, releasing those boundaries, releasing those fears. It's so much that the womb hold on to that we just have to take time to sit and release. So let's get into a few steps, a few beautiful womb love practices that you can start today on your womb love journey. So a few steps that you could start your womb love journey. And what you need to remember is all about consistency. Like everything we do, we have to be consistent. Just like how you consistently get, make sure you brush your teeth every day. You consistently make sure you wash your face before you walk out the, the, the house in the morning. When you come to your womb, when it comes to your womb love journey, when it comes to you, goddess, 
just just keep it like that when it comes to you because you are worthy of love you are worthy of joy you are worthy of all the abundance that is around you you are there is a limitless potential within you there's a limitless potential of creativity within you you just got to tap into that we're going to tap into that with a beautiful moon meditation okay having a beautiful womb meditation it creates and just probably just doing it for 10 minutes i've downloaded a few womb meditations that you could do on your period and if you just want to just take time to tap into your womb your womb space and tap into that joy and into that love because we hold into so much we have to take time to really tap into that space we haven't been taught as women to really embrace our womb space so going on this journey on this beautiful womb journey you will be unlocking and tapping into uh, unlimited potential of creativity and self-love so going into your womb a womb meditation you're able to sit down you're able to release what doesn't serve you. And when you release what doesn't serve you, that's when the love shines. That's when the joy shines. That's when the creativity shines. Uh, it, it's really, it's truly beautiful. So your womb meditation, for me, I do my womb meditation when I do my yoni steaming. Um, I have a beautiful womb meditation doing that. Womb meditation during my period. I do my womb meditation. I have a beautiful womb ritual um, that I do before my period, which we will talk later in another video about a moon cycle ritual. Just ritualizing your womb space, ritualizing your joy, ritualizing your passion, your creativity. Okay, so that's womb meditation, which you could check on my channel to tap into the womb meditation, just to take time, and we could just do this, do this right now. Let's rub our hands together. Take a nice deep inhale of love and exhale. Dropping in here and now. Nice deep inhale. Wrap your hands together. Put your hands on your womb space. Fitting into your love. Nice deep inhale of love here. And exhale, peace. Just taking this time and moment to sit with yourself, the most important person. You guys. Breathing into your space of love, your space of creativity, your space of transformation. Nice to inhale. And exhale. Doesn't, doesn't that feel good to just sit here and it's like really truly ground into your womb space? So the second thing, the second way that you could go, um, that you can start your womb love journey is starting a beautiful yoni steam practice. So yoni steaming, as you know, and well, it's part of my culture, in Haitian culture. We do yoni steaming, we have our sacred 40 days after you have your baby, but you can also do yoni steaming, which I have started as my practice of bringing more awareness, bringing more intention into my womb is Taking having a beautiful yoni steam practice before your period, after your period. Commit to taking time to sit with your womb space and once a month with the yoni steam. Yoni steaming is truly beautiful. And you could check on my channel more about yoni steaming and the benefits of yoni steaming. But yoni steaming is another way to really connect to your womb space. And you're also connecting to the element of water, which is the element of the sacral chakra to heal the to heal the womb space and to, and to connect with the womb space. So yoni steaming is a really great practice and ritual that you can start taking for your womb love's journey. All right, so God, and so our third, so we're just going into three. So our third practice, which is so beautiful that you can start for your womb love journey, is just start, start having a womb journal. 
so simple. A beautiful womb journal. Um, when you have, when you start doing your yoni steam, you don't write down what comes up for you. So a lot of people, when they do a yoni steam, they just feel like, hey, I'm gonna do a yoni steam, just sit on there. And, and But yoni steam is have to be very intentional. When it comes to your to your womb love journey, I like to add a very, to be very intentional when it comes to the womb space. Just like you, you're very intentional when it comes to who you choose to have in your in, in your in your love box, okay? So we want to just bring in, intention and in every step on our womb love journey. So when you sit on your yoni steam, bring out your womb journal and write down what's coming up for you. And then you're able to see and go back later to see what you wrote down, to see your what you're manifesting, to see your goals and your desires, to see what steps you have taken towards those goals. So you should be doing this at least once a month, okay? And so remember, God, it's just like everything we do in life, they have to be consistency, just like we brush our teeth. I know I'm saying this again, but just that we do anything in life, when it comes to our womb space, we haven't been taught to love this beautiful sacred space. So starting to invite these beautiful practices on a consistent basis will continue to ignite your passion and your creativity will continue to flow. Now doing this one time once in a blue moon is not going to help. Like I have some clients that come to do a yoni steam. They come one time and they feel so good, but it has to be on a consistent basis. In order to involve in life goddess, you have to always be moving. Energy flows where focus goes. So if you're not paying attention to your womb space, you're not paying attention to your passions. You're not paying attention to your creativity. You are truly limiting yourself when you're not tapping into your womb space. The womb space is truly a space of unlimited space of creativity, just a whole space of just transformation. And why would you want to limit yourself from not transforming? We are truly brought on this earth to transform. And it's just so truly amazing when you just sit there and just reclaim your power. It just feels so good. I challenge you today to just start this week, okay? I challenge you today to just start this week for one thing, one consistent sacred practice that you're going to start for your womb today, that you're going to start for yourself today. It could be going to go buy a womb journal. Okay, it could be starting your starting your womb meditation. What? Well, let's just start your womb meditation in the, in the morning. Really tapping in. Start that ooh, that beautiful lotus meditation that I downloaded is a beautiful practice that you can do every morning to like really tap into that creativity, tap into your love, feeling grateful and feeling feeling grateful for the love that you have within you. You gotta feel grateful for what you have. A lot of times we sit here and we give praise and worship to other goddesses and say, hey, we love we love their growth. But it's time for you to start your growth today, okay? So you can start your womb love journey with just a womb meditation, or let's just tap into our, our beautiful womb love box that I have for you today. Goddess, so let me show you our beautiful Yoni love box, okay? Goddesses, your beautiful Yoni love box. You wanna start your womb love journey. You do not know where to start. You wanna connect with me. Let me tell you, this is, this is your Yoni love box. Let me tell you what you get in your Yoni love box. Your Yoni love box is truly a divine goddess theme in a box. Commit to your self-love journey today, guys, with your beautiful Yoni love box. So you get your Yoni steams, and also on my YouTube channel, I show you on how to Yoni steam at home. This Yoni steam has about two, two to three Yoni steams. You remember, you should be Yoni steaming at least twice a month, okay, before your period and after your period if you're not trying to get pregnant, but you can also use this as, as a beautiful bath. You could get the herbs, boil it, and use the water to put in your beautiful sacred bath, okay? So you get your yoni, you get your yoni steam, 
self-love blend. You get your yummy yoni wash. Look at this. Let me shake it up for you. Ooh. Look at that beauty. Yes, you get your beautiful yummy yoni wash. And for those, I ran out of the two ounce. So you guys that order your yoni love box, you'll be blessed and be getting the four ounce, okay? People, they love that. You get your wombs tea, you get your sunny delight, and you get your goddess going to our aphrodisiac tea. It's really tap into your womb space. When you go, when you have your yoni steam, sip on your tea. And you also get your herbal bath salt. I honor myself. Yes, honor yourself today, goddess. And also with your Yoni Love Box, Yoni Love Box, this month Yoni Love Box also includes a womb clearing meditation. We are receptive. And so it's really essential for us to take time to clean house. Okay, to really take time to release the energies, release soul ties. This is really truly a meditation that focuses on releasing soul ties with partners, family members, communities that doesn't serve us. Okay, so with your Yoni Love Box, this month's subscription, you guys will be being blessed with a four ounce Yummy Yoni Wash, and you also will be receiving an exclusive womb clearing meditation, which is exclusively for the Yoni Adore Yoni Steam. So this is a beautiful practice while you're Yoni Steaming to clear your womb, to do a nice womb clearing meditation. It's really taking time out to sit with your womb into clear out the partners that no longer serve you, okay? Honey, it's time to clear him out of your womb, okay? A lot of us as women, and that is what is so essential about your womb love journey. As women, we hold on to so much energies, and we have, let's be honest, we have sexual partners. We ain't gotta sit here, we ain't gotta front. Okay, we get we we real on this channel, goddesses. Okay, it don't matter if you have five partners, or if you had ten, if you have twenty, if you had thirty, if you had a hundred. Ain't no judgment over here. But it is truly essential. I'm just saying it's truly essential for us to clean house. We don't want to be staying connected to these guys or to these females that have not that are not serving us, to these emotions, to these partners that are no longer serving us. It's time to cut them off and guess what once you do that wound clear meditation you will no longer be getting that hey 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 big head mm -hmm. yeah you continue to get that hey big head text because he is still connected to you in your womb so that's why it's so essential get your yoni love box Get your Yoni Love Box so you could go ahead and get your wound clearing meditation, okay? Okay, goddess, so if you wanna get more information about the Yoni Love Box, I have the link in the description as well as a link for my Central Movement Meditation class, which I have virtually. And if you would like to connect with me one-on-one -on -one to talk more about your womb love journey and what steps you can start to take on your womb love journey. And so remember, write in the comments, what one step are you gonna start taking today, moving consistently? All right, write this down. Forward means moving towards success, okay? So we are moving forward. If you're on this video, if this is divine timing, it's time for you to start your womb love journey. Connect with me with the link in the bio so we connect, so we can connect with each other to start your womb love journey. Now, God, it's because you are worthy, you are love, you are, you are everything. That desire that you have within you, goddess, is uniquely to only you. And you have these fears built up within you. You have these self-limiting thoughts, these self-limiting, these self-limiting fears that, and these self-limiting thoughts, these self-limiting fears that you are holding onto, that if you just take time to sit and release it, you'll be able to move forward towards success okay towards any goal towards any desire as you are worthy of all your desires thank you goddess like and subscribe and i see you soon in the next video peace and blessings